Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear, and this is the extended review of the Sunway Man M60C flashlight. So here's the packaging of the Sunway Man M60C. Some good information about the ANSI specs on the side. 2500 lumens down to 40 lumens, 404 meters of beam distance down to 10, 1.9 hours of runtime up to 52 hours, and then more information about dropping and all that kind of stuff. As always, you can get the full specs on our site if you want to see the lumens and run times for the other outputs. Let's go and open it up, show you what you get on the inside. Actually, it normally comes in a bag, but I've already opened this up. So I have the light in the holster. Here's the light and the holster. Actually, we'll show you that again real quick just to show you how it fits in there. So light and fits in nice and snug and secure in the holster. It just slides on down in there. You got the flap that goes over the top. Nice sturdy holster, a lot nicer than what you see from most manufacturers as the holster that comes with it. Good thick, heavy duty nylon. You got the hook and loop back here different ways to attach it. Nice uh, D-ring right there to attach it. And then hook and loop on the front. And then the bottom's exposed. Let's go and pull it out. I'll set that to the side. Show you the other stuff that you get with it. You have uh, some accessories here. So you have a lanyard, some spare O-rings. And then down in the bottom, there's the user manual, warranty information. Always worth a read, bunch of good information in there. It tells you about the uh, operation of the light. So that's the warranty card. Tells you about the operation, tells you about the care of the light, and then you get, uh, you know, schematics of the light so you know what the different parts are, cautions about it, uh, more warranty information, frequently asked questions, all that kind of stuff. So lots of good information in here, definitely worth a read. Let's take a closer look at the light itself. So this is part of their rechargeable series of lights. It uses their optional AP06 charging base which is pretty cool. So you have this contact system there on the bottom of the light, and I forgot to bring one home, but basically it just sets down into the cradle. So there's no plugs or anything like that. Well, I mean, you have to plug the cradle into the wall, but as far as plugging the flashlight into the cradle, you don't have to do that. So you can just set it down. A good uh, option to have at home or in the vehicle. It sets down in there nice and securely and charges your light. So that's gonna be when you're using 18650 batteries. So the rechargeable lithium ion batteries, 18650s, that's what the charging system is for. It's not compatible with CR123s, which are not rechargeable, or RCR123s, which are rechargeable, but it's only made to charge 18650s. So keep that in mind if you want to get the, uh, the optional charging base. So there's that charging system there on the back. Oh, and uh, you don't have to worry about it being sealed. So you don't have any exposed parts on here. It's not like there's any plugs or anything like that because you have a couple of different contact areas. So like some of the lights that have the little USB plugs that you have to worry about the little rubber piece covering it up, you don't have to worry about that because all you have are just a couple of metal contacts on there. So no exposed ports or anything like that. So here's the front of the light, three Cree XML2 LEDs down in there. Again, 2,500 lumens on max output. Nice, really heavy duty stainless steel bezel on here. Help protect this, the lens and everything on the front of the light when you drop it. It's gonna help protect it really well. Turn the light around just so you can see the different parts. So the operation is completely controlled by this ring right here. We'll show you what all the different uh, modes do. You can kind of see you've got an arrow right here and then laser engraved indications of the different modes. Just turn it around so you can see all the different parts. All right, let's open it up. We're gonna stick some batteries in here. So we've got three 18650s. They're the Eagle Tac 3100 milliamp hour 18650s. I always recommend those or the 3400 ones. Both really high quality, really good batteries. And you usually get the best runtime. And of course, with this light, they're rechargeable. So there's a lot of benefits to them. The only time I would say use CR123s is if you're gonna have the light and you're gonna stick it in your truck or something like that and not use it for a long time. CR123s have awesome shelf life. They Most of them have about a 10 year shelf life, which is really nice of, of a kind of, uh, you know, put it somewhere and forget about it flashlight. But if you're gonna be using it on a regular basis, there are a lot of advantages to 18650s. So, got the three 18650s in the battery carrier. We're gonna go ahead and stick the head back on the light, screw it on there, and we'll show you the operation of it. So you have these different outputs around the light, and uh, we've got it on off right now. If we turn it to the left, that's what they call turbo, so that's the max output of the 2500 lumens. And then going back around, first one there, I think they call it Firefly, super low output, we keep on going around, show you all the different outputs. All the way over, you have the couple of flashing modes. So you have SOS and then strobe. So several different outputs 
and then a couple flashing modes. Lots of different things to choose between. And it's kind of nice from off, you can just get right to the turbo, the max output of the 2500 lumens, where with a lot of these magnetically controlled lights, you have to kind of cycle all the way over to get to the, uh, to get to the turbo output. It's kind of nice they have it set up where it's right next to off. And you can still get to the lowest output. So from off, you can get to the lowest and the highest. Pretty nice interface that they have on here. So again, interface is completely controlled by this magnetic ring. You have all these little different indicators on here. You have uh, from off, if you go left, you have the turbo max output, and then you have your four other outputs, plus SOS and strobe. Super simple interface. We recommend this light to a lot of people looking to give it to their parents, or even somebody wanting just a simple interface for themselves. It's kind of hard to uh, mess this up. You know, you just turn it until you find the one that you want. So most people can understand that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the Sunway Man M60C outside and we'll show you how this guy does outside. Okay, we're outside with the Sunway Man M60C. We're gonna compare it to the 40 mag light that I always use as a baseline since pretty much everybody's familiar with this performance. Let's go ahead and try out the mag light. There's a dock house about 100 feet away. Some other trees and bushes and stuff. Okay, let's try out the M60C. So we're going to do max output first. We're just going to turn the ring to the left. You see a ton of lumens coming out of this thing. One thing I really, really like about Sunway Man is they have some of the nicest beam patterns out there. This just has a really nice, smooth, clean, even beam. Big, really big hot spot. Good transition from the hot spot to the spill. They just do a really good job with their lights, especially with configuring the reflectors and getting a nice beam on it. I'll zoom in on the dock house just so you can see how well it's lit up out there. You see all the details and everything out there, you can make them out really, really well. That's of course with the max output, so I'll show you the other outputs as well. There's off, there's your low, going to be more for up close kind of stuff. Really good when you want to save your battery life or you don't want to blind yourself when you're illuminating something, you know, 10, 15 feet away. And there's your flashing modes and stuff. Back to your max output. Shine that around a little bit more. Okay, let's show you this with a longer distance. So we're outside with the Sunway Man M60C. Got a lot longer distance to work with now. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So this is the max output. Got the targets out there that I always use in the uh, long distance comparison videos. First one's out at 50 yards. Second one's 100. Tree line's 130 yards. So you can see how well it makes it out. To all of those, really nice, wide, relatively floody beam, which still get really good distance. It's a combination of those uh, three LEDs, three reflectors, and just the way they have everything set up. Like I said, I really like the beam on this light especially, but Sunway Man always does a good job with the beam on their flashlights. I'll show you those other output levels. Off, low, up close kind of stuff. I'll start bumping it up. You can see, even on the lower levels, makes it out there pretty well. And then you got the flashing ones as well. Crank it back up to high. Okay, there you go. That's the Sunway Man M60C. If you like it, you can buy it from us at GoingGear.com. Any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at GoingGear.com. And if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe. We put out a ton of gear and flashlight videos. Thanks for watching.